Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Almighty Allah, I uh, hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to talk about the algebraic expressions. As I wrote it in the board, an algebraic expression is a combination of the variable and the constants. So uh, it's popped up the meaning of variables and the constants. Variables itself a symbol that we can put any, any real number instead of that. For example, x, y, z. It means that uh, instead of x, y, z, we put uh, any number that we want. But in the other hand, constant. What's constant? Constant, as I, were, as I wrote it in the board, constant, all real numbers are constant. For example, 2, 3, 4, 5, any real number that you know, square root of 2, square root of 5, that's called what? Constant. And uh, any, uh, any real number can, can't be equal to an another, an another an, a real number. It means this, that this is called what? Constant. And uh, after that, uh, it's popped up the idea of polynomial. A polynomial itself has three characteristics. The first characteristic for the polynomial is that variable has whole number exponents. For example, in a polynomial, if you have, uh, for example, 3, 4, 5, or uh, 5, or 10, or 20 terms, on that, uh, on that polynomial, uh, on that algebraic expression, the exponents of the variable must be a whole number. It means 1, 2, 3, 4, or anything else like that. And the, the other characteristic, the second one, variable is not in denominator. It means that in any polynomial that you have, uh, for example, uh, in a polynomial, the, the, the variables means x, y, z, or any variable uh, mustn't be in denominator. And the third character for that variable is not under the root. Any problem that we can guess about, the variables mustn't be, shouldn't be uh, under the root. It's the third characteristic of the polynomial. And uh, on the other hand, we have the uh, kinds of polynomial. What's the kinds of polynomial? The first uh, kind of the polynomial is the monomial. Monomial, it means that a polynomial that uh, have one, has one what? One term. That's called monomial. And the second binomial. Binomial means uh, a polynomial that has two terms that's called binomial and the trinomial. The trinomial means a polynomial that has three terms that's called trinomial. And uh, now we, we are to explain the degree of a polynomial. What's the degree of a polynomial? A degree of a polynomial is the biggest, is the biggest exponent of a polynomial. It means, uh, if you can guess about the polynomials, uh, in a polynomial we have, for example, four terms. The biggest power, the biggest exponent on that, on that uh, uh, polynomial is, call, is called the degree of that polynomial. And uh, that's it. And uh, I can show that an example for you guys also. For example, uh, if you have like this a polynomial, for example, and uh, one thing that shouldn't be uh, left from me, that's the name of a polynomial. We can name the polynomial, polynomials like uh, by the words like fx, gx, kx, hx. It's according to the variable. For example, if in a polynomial we have the variable x, we can use fx. If in a polynomial it's y, we can we use f of y. If a polynomial has multivariable value variables like x and y or z, we can use f x, y, z, like this. Uh, we have talked about the degree of the polynomial. We have two examples in here. The first example is the polynomial fx. 4x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 50x to the power of 40. The biggest number in this polynomial uh, is 40. It means the biggest exponent for the variable x is 40. So the degree of this polynomial is 40. And is equal to what? 40. As we mentioned in, in here, n, n is degree in this polynomial. In the second exa example, we have the polynomial gx. So in this polynomial, gx is equal to 2x to the power of 5. 
plus 20x to the power of 50 minus 3x to the power of 4 plus 20x to the power of 5. So in this polynomial, we have uh, four terms and the biggest exponent for the variable x is 50. It means the degree for this polynomial is 50 and is equal to 50. Now, the other title I want to talk about is the putting the numbers instead of variables. We can, we can uh, put any number instead of variables in, in polynomials. Uh, for example, in this first example, I put uh, a 1 instead of x in this fx polynomial. fx is equal to 4x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x minus 50. I put 1 instead of x. It means that uh, when we are to put any real number instead of variables, we are to ignore all the coefficients, ignore all the exponents, just put uh, the variables, the, re the real numbers that you want to put instead of the variable. Okay, it means the coefficient for must be read, write itself, it's written. And instead of x, we are to put 1, we have put 1. Uh, 1 cubed minus 4 times 1 squared plus 4, 40 times, instead of x, we will to put 1. Minus 50 itself. Now we are simplifying this one. After simplifying this one, we found out f1 is equal to minus 10. It means that we put 1 instead of uh, uh, x in this polynomial, we give minus 10. In the next example, the polynomial is gx. gx is equal to 2x squared minus 4tx plus 200. We are to put 2 instead of x in this polynomial. Okay. We are to put it and ignore all other the exponents and the coefficients. We must write it down. Just instead of x, we are to put the uh, value 2. g2 is equal to 2 times 2 squared. We have x. Instead of x, we are to put 2. We have put 2. Now the power 2 must be written itself. Minus 40 times 2 plus 200. And after simplifying this, we found out G2 is equal to 122, 128. Thank you all of you guys. If you have any question, any suggestion regarding these videos that we are uh, to make them for you guys, put it in below in the comment and like and subscribe our channel in YouTube.